Hello everybody, welcome to two of the best coaches in the round. We've got Dion Lord with the blue lizards here. Um, <laughs> with all block standard and uh, 12th player with a chameleon skink. Two rerolls, Apo versus Bright with the red lizards. With three rerolls and an Apo, so only 11 players. And he's gone half of his team, uh, well half his source with guard, half with block. So interesting, you know, different different lizard teams, um, different lizard builds, that's good, isn't it? And I can't believe I'm doing a lizard mirror live. But, you know, I thought for coaching this has got to be, you know, probably the pick of the round, right? Based on coaching. Um, unfortunate that it's a lizard mirror. Really hope that somebody would come on and do this with me. But... Uh, I will soldier bravely on. And I just fancied watching it, you know, because I thought this is... I thought it should be a good game. So, let's, you know, watch it live. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a horrendous mistake. We're about to find out. Alright. Oh! Who's that?! Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a second, I've got to... People can't hear you. I've just got to... Uh... You mean I've got to have an uh again once you put me on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me when I'm live. <laughs> right, you're live, you're live now, Elliot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You sounded really sad, so I thought I'd better come on. Oh, thank you so much. I it was fucking, really sad. I didn't, I didn't it was a fucking lizard bird, though. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What a nightmare. Yeah, I think it's somewhat interesting, though, right? The the half blocks and the half guards versus the, the, versus the terrible dice. You know, and like 11 men versus 12. Uh, I thought it was yeah a bit more interesting. Yeah, it's about as less of a mirror as you can get, I guess. Yeah, like, like, obviously Lizard Mirror is is one of the worst, <laughs> one of the absolute worst mirrors. But um... this confused the heck out of me because they said like you can now play your games between the fifth and the seventh of January, <laughs> and then everybody just instantly scheduled their games. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, so. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, the, the, the 5th of January is a completely irrelevant date in any possible way. <laughs> yes, yeah, completely pointless. <laughs> but, hey, look, at least, at least you know, common sense has kind of prevailed and they've let people do this, like, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty stupid just saying yeah, you've got yeah. three days when it's around Christmas and New Year's. Well, me and Seagulls have been good boys and scheduled for the 5th anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Crocs Blitz. Right. Bright has the guard lizards, that's right, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Bright yeah. is the red. Man, he's got the, Bright's got the fancy one to the big old uh, Triceratops school as well. He has, yeah, yeah. He's really, he's really, uh, really gone all out. Quite a few people have, actually. Quite a few people have used all of their customizations yeah, for this right. tournament. I remember some guy with Underworld. He's uh, he's put some of the, uh, some ooh. things on the positionals. Yeah, yeah. What, what's this matchup of, the, matchup of the round? What the heck? Oh, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> well, in the other matchup of the round... Um, yeah, thank you, thank you. One of the people has lizard men and the other has Underworld, yeah, so it's it's a bit unfair. Dio, Dio says that's 52-48 uh, lizard men. <laughs> yeah, Dio says a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> French <laughs> kiss. Insane Fantastic. Fashion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And honestly, if Dio only wins 52% with Lizards versus Underworld, then obviously it's a much worse matchup than that. Because <laughs> he's better than average, right? So that's I would expect him to win more with Lizards. Like, you know, if he had Lizards against Underworld, I'd expect him to win more than he lost still, but only because he's better than average quite a lot better than average but I think it favours Underworld but you know probably not by that much right and then obviously there's a, they are two very very good players Elliot and Seabros so that will be a super interesting one for sure for sure uh, 
I'll do my best to make it as uninteresting as possible. Hey! <laughs> Lie down on one turn. Hey. The skink was exposed and it does Ooh. get smacked. That guard could have been out, like, protecting the skinks, couldn't it? Yeah. Uh, the guard one in the cage. Like, he could have took the guard either way, right? So it wasn't really protecting the guard either. Yeah. Doesn't get the AB break. Hello, Steve. Hello, Dimwath. I've already said hello, Dimwath, before we start, but I'll say it again. Oh, tries a dodge. So a few dodge dodges with Saurus in my uh, in my last yeah. when one of my orc games. Interesting strategy, isn't it? And not something I go yeah. for myself. I just leave them no. lying down. I guess especially early on, like it's like you know, is is that guy going to be doing any any critical for like the next like two or three turns? Right, you know, not even the next turn, but the next few turns. Surely, can you could afford it to be on the floor? Yeah, yeah. Leaving him on the floor, floor like makes him a blitzing threat and stuff, doesn't it? it means you've got to like. Yeah. Uh, You've got to keep him tagged if you want to control him, yeah. or you've got to, you know, you've got to factor in his position at least. Whereas, yeah, might have to, might disrupt the cage, might have to position slightly the cage. Yeah. And ten pluses happen. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yeah, they really, really, really do. Floor doesn't have mighty blow at all. Sometimes it does. <laughs> yeah, like you, you, you know, ten plus is one in six. It's not. It's not unlikely, is it? I mean, technically it is unlikely, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Depends on your definition of unlikely. Like, it's, it's one in six. You know, that was the best way you could describe it, I guess. Yes, it's one in as six. You, as you said. If you, if you had to, like, you know, if there was a one in six chance of you dying every morning, you'd think it was pretty likely and you wouldn't be very happy, would you? <laughs> so. I mean, it depends on your perspective, right? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. You might be happy when the sweet release finally comes. <laughs> <laughs> but in general, in general, if it's like, you know, if it was one in six, you lose all of the money that you have. Nobody's going to like that. Hey, that's cleared. Woo <laughs> God damn it, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> How about on a one in six something bad happens to Sean Bean? Then it would be something terrible Ooh, that all humanity yeah. could get but, behind. I mean, that 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 is correct though, right? On a one in six something bad does happen to Sean Bean. Like he <laughs> he dies all the time, right? Like holy shit! <laughs> he does. Like what? Jo Sean Bean is a lizard man dodging out from, uh, you know, doing a dodge. There you go. He's always doing a dodge. There you go. He, he survived his dodges in Black Beauty and <laughs> and Ronin. <laughs> Every other one he failed. <laughs> Why not foul that thing to his band book here? I mean, like, Crocs is a pretty good target. Uh, Souls is a pretty good target, right? But you still don't want to get your own skink sent off, right? Like, one in three to get a guy sent off. Yeah, and Bright only has 11 players, right? If anyone's fouling in this game, it's Dion Lord. Dion Lord has 12. So, Dion Lord could think about fouling, but I don't think with 11 players, Bright can. Yeah. Sharp stabs himself in the leg, yeah. And hello, Seabros there looking, chat. There you go. Seabros, one half of the other big match mm, yes. in, this, mm -hmm. in this round. Mm. Yeah, that's right. I was wrong, sorry. What's that? I was wrong, sorry. This is, this is one of the oh, two big oh. matches. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is, it is. I'm just... To be fair, like, they, they put all big matches, right? Like, there's, there's some names in there, like, it's one hell of a. One hell of a field for this uh, round, isn't it? That's true, yeah, that's true. It's, you know, it did do it. It did have a. And there's some good big names out, isn't there? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but did, did Veliopia get through, or is Veliopia out? Veli's out, yeah. Veli's out, yeah, wow. Yeah, Veli, Andri. Andri, wow. <laughs> And me. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, fucking hell, I've got me, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man, man, I was so convinced you were going to get through. Like, when when, when you lost your first round, I was so pissed off. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to play Jimmy's Dwarfs round three, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking Blood Bowl, isn't it? That's it is Blood Bowl. It is a Blood Bowl. Not a lot. I lost to Rumbad the other night, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, though this is a mess, isn't it? But I guess it being a mess is good for the team with guard in a way. Like if they don't roll skulls, then um, getting all of these, you know, all of uh, it's very messy, though, isn't it? 
Balls based. But he's got a free block. Mm. Saurus. But it's, uh, so yeah, I wasn't really washing until now. So like, neither the, was I. The blue lizards have like herp derped the red lizards a bit, or the red lizards herp derping. I can't quite tell. I think the blues. The blue the bl herp -derped. Yeah, the blues are on defense, so one would assume. Yeah. And Diomlod was very, very patient on defense uh, in his previous round match, yeah. and then he's gone all in pretty quickly here, hasn't he? He has, yeah. There was a stun. Yeah. That uh, helps keep the pressure off for the next turn at least a little bit. Big stun. The red lizards. Big stun, yeah. yeah. The red lizards. <laughs> I wonder what colours they are normally. This it might be easier or, or better or worse. Let's uh, see. Oh god. Uh, no, it's yellow pants versus black pants. That uh, is terrible. That is terrible. No wow. Who, who painted their lizards <laughs> yellow and red? <laughs> <laughs> Scumbag bright, red and yellow. <laughs> I mean, this would be a really good foul, right? Like, because he's got the guard, he's got the guard, the guard can block, and then he'd have the guard assist plus the gun, so he would have a massive gang foul, but I just, you know, I just don't think you can even consider it with, uh, yeah. with only 11 players. It's like first drive as well, like, you know, like, uh, could be, uh, could be down a skink for the rest of the game. Yeah, could be overtime, right? the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah. The rest of the game could be even low. Okay, so he's moved around over here next to the stunned guy. Perfect. Really making like, the cage safe. With the app out, you, you kind of you kind of need a, a perm for it to stick, really. Yeah. So lap out the badly hurt instantly. Yeah, I think we can almost write off fouling. Well, definitely write it off for Bright, unless it's like super key, right? Like if it's like one Yeah, guy can yeah, there'll, there'll, be, there'll be situations, right, where, where you might do a foul, but not just like a, let's get some attrition in. You know? yeah. And, you know, like if things start going south, right? Like if, if he takes two Casaurus or <laughs> something like that, then Okay, let's yep. just go for fouls and hope to get lucky. Time to because, high roll. Yeah, if you don't get lucky, you're going to lose. <laughs> if yeah. that happens. It's really tricky to get two Ds now, isn't it? I guess he's going to blitz blitz the Garda here and then block the Crocs, then block the Garda. But it's uh, it's pretty... Yeah, it, it's funny like that Lizardmen usually take like all blocks sometimes just to guard on the Crocs, right? Because they're so, they're so strong. It's like, yo, w w the guards almost just overkill, right, against almost any team they run into. Except all the Lizardmen, like, suddenly <laughs> it's like, oh, having having a bit of guards is kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Seabros went sneaky get on his team, didn't he? Which was an interesting Oh, wow. Wrinkle. What a mean lord. Hmm. Oh, he gets the he gets the both down with his block guy. I mean, all of his guys are block, but you know, versus a non-block, <laughs> maybe what I should have said. <laughs> hey, the 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 cocks are going to have block. The the skinks don't have block. <laughs> yeah. Huge block now. Well, activation from the crocs. Maybe not a block. Oh yeah. Ooh, I don't like moving the skink first, because you need the skink to assist if this is just a push, right? Uh... Oh, push, yeah, so... Oh, anyway. to... Look a dog. <laughs> Whoa, outrageous. Plays for a power to find one. It's, I mean, it's pretty outrageous, right? A blockless loner block, needing a power, and then gets a push on the other one where it doesn't really matter. There we go, a little bit isolated, these two, aren't they? Um, I think he'll just try and pile back in in the fight as much as he can, won't he? It's, as Dimmy says, it's yeah. seven turns of pretending to play Blood Bowl before scoring. <laughs> yep. with, a, with a slight wrinkle in this one is that your opponent can just 1D the ball or whatever they want because your carry is strength two and, and they, they have a team of strength two stunties. <laughs> True, yeah, it's interesting. It's a bit isn't of it? added madness for the Lizard Bowl. Yeah. Although, of course, with the guard, it's a bit harder for uh, bright. Wait, no, fuck me. It's a bit harder for the blue lizards <laughs> to do that to the red lizards than the opposite way around. Yeah. Yeah, you see, we've got a red lizard here with guard in front of the king. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't even tell which which which, which is which on the things, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Did that lizard have block and guard? Did they, did they stack? 
<laughs> if you get to the exact zoom, then you can just be like, oh, look, these are perfect. But if you zoom out, then I guess you can tell the guy in front's got guard. Hello, Fallen Glory. Hulk Hogan lizards. Oh, yeah, it is little Hulk Hogan lizards. Oh, removal. There we go. Ooh, spicy. It's a little bit Do too we, late uh... to want to apple, isn't it? Yeah. And it's like, you know, how much of a chance are you going to have of stopping? But then it's like, if you don't stop, you know, the best bet is overtime, you know, like. Yeah, it's really tricky. This We're in the hard zone now. I think if it happened turn one or turn two, you just apple, you know? Okay, so he's, yeah. he's appled on turn four. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Like, he might stay out as well, right? Like, one in yeah. four, he just stays out for your drive. That's horrendous. So, yeah, yeah fair play. Yeah. Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think turn, turn one or two, it's an auto apple. And then turn three... You're leaning towards Apple, and turn four is when it gets difficult because now you're only getting three turns out of them on defense, and really only kind of two yeah. turns out of them on defense, aren't you? Because you, your turn eight on defense, yeah. you can't do anything. And That's then a three very turns. late in the drive. You, you, you're probably not Apple in the right, it's like, well. Yeah, yeah. So you're, yeah. you're still scared of the one in four, but you're no longer getting any use out of him for this drive. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, we have swung back, piled in the fight, and then swung back behind. Mm hmm. This dicking well, around continues. <laughs> yeah, dick around for seven turns. <laughs> Classic. I like that uh, Dion Lord, Blue Lizards. <laughs> Maybe we should just call them okay. Blue Lizards and Red Lizards. <laughs> I think you're under something there. <laughs> I like that he's kept, you know, a couple of them out of the fight. Like, I think that's smart, so then he can use them to, like, blitz in and, like, pick off the guards uh -huh. from the edges because <clears throat> it's really hard to uh, get a hold of them, isn't it? Yeah, sure. It's very tricky. Very super interesting. Yeah, like basically, John Lord is kind of leaning on the fact that he he needs to get more knockdowns right than the than the red lizards because yeah, the guard the guard beats him if he's not right. Like that's what the block's there for. Like if uh, if Bright manages to sort of get more knockdowns, then it's almost like the block's kind of been a bit pointless. Yeah, and the thing is with his guard, you'd expect he'll be getting more blocks, right? So <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the thing. One. Like when people when people made like you know those stupid chaos teams where they just took mighty blow first and everybody. If if they roll pals, that's really good, isn't it? Uh -uh. <laughs> and this is the same kind of thing going guard first. If if you just don't roll, you know, if neither side rolls both downs, then or has to take the both downs that they roll. Then all of a sudden, yeah. guard is just strictly better than block, isn't it? Actually, if if that's how exactly, the rules exactly, go. yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, I know that skink blitz, and it's kind of like fair play, right? You know, because like with eleven players, I know even getting rid of skink does sound pretty nice. Yeah. I, I was thinking he just blitz that hanging guard on the left, but uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, maybe I don't I could do some kind of chain. I don't know if there's anything really relevant. Probably not. Yeah. But yeah, I, I honestly, I don't, I don't hate the skink thingy. Yeah, it's fine, isn't it? Plus, you've got block, like you know. So, oh, there's a stun. Well, to match so, um, to, to match the blue lizard young. stun that he. Oh happen. yeah, oh yeah. I thought I thought it was the same. I thought this was the. Yeah, I thought it was the same stun. But yeah, now there you go. So yeah, John Lord is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you fallen glory. Yeah, Dumbledore is really good, but you've done uh, orcs, right? You've done orcs. I don't think I've seen him play less as much. Yeah, he was he was number one rated in in NAF for mm. orcs. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And uh... he, he was going to play lizards the season. He got banned for life from uh, Chalice. <laughs> he got banned for life. Not not life, like but like three seasons or something, right? That <laughs> oh. that was the that was the thing, right? The the, the joke about you know Gary on just like <laughs> waking up on the wrong side of bed or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he was gone. He was out of that. Oh wow! <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I really hate that they that they went with just you know blue unmodifiable skin. Yeah, yeah. I really don't like that. Yeah. I would go so far as to say it was a bad decision. I, 
Well, thankfully, it's the worst decision they made. <laughs> <laughs> the only bad decision Cyanide have made in making this game was to, uh, yeah, like, it's just, you know, like, there's no law reason why they have to be blue skinned, mm. right? Like, there's just no yeah, reason. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, if, if there was a law reason, then, like, you know, kind of fair enough, right? You could understand them Glorious. wanting to get, no, uh, you I know, won't like, give in. Games Ooh, this is a bit dodgy, isn't it? Because there's a crocs I right here with this cage corner. I really hated that follow up. Yeah, yeah, wow, that's a good point, yeah. This crocs goes stupid, like. Uh huh, uh huh. And has he blitzed? Yeah, is he not blitzed? Uh. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, no, no. He, no, he could no. have blitzed with his guard and ran him round, right? Yeah, he could, but he yeah. hasn't. He's just blocked. Yeah. And the crocs has gone stupid! Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, will Dion Lord be able to spot this hit on the ball? <laughs> uh, yeah, the question is, and can I, I genuinely can't tell, does he have a block lizard that can actually blitz so he manages to clear? Yeah, he, need, oh. he needs to power. Oh, oh, that guy's blocked. Oh, that guy's oh blocked. Well, he stood up! What? Ah! Oh. What's he doing? He's not spotted it! <laughs> <laughs> he literally hasn't spotted it! You've just got a 2D, and if you pow, you get yeah. 2D on the ball with block. Unless he's doing something yeah, but else. You can't do a fir first action loner, loner block, though. I mean, you could have stood people up, though, and stuff, couldn't you? Yeah, I, I know. I'm just <laughs> That's really weird that he that he stood there. Yeah, I mean, this got, guy was like a blitzing. chaining or something, is he doing? Yeah, I mean, what? he must be doing something cleverer. Surely, yeah. surely, yeah. if he's not doing that, yeah. he must be doing something cleverer. I was what? looking for some kind of chain, but like, no, that guy's just stood up as well. Wow, he's just basing the ball! He's just basing the ball! <laughs> oh, my... What the heck? Like, he must... Are we, are we insane? Oh, <laughs> oh is Diablo blind? <laughs> yeah, that's weird, isn't it? That's weird. That's yeah, really it's so weird. weird. Like, it's funny because, like, it, it clearly... Oh my god, it's so hard to remember which one's which is. Clearly Bright <laughs> missed it as well, right? Or, yeah. like, you'd, you'd, you'd think, like, I wouldn't have imagined that Bright was relying on the, the clocks, it, right? He, he must have missed it as well, right? Like, or misclicked on the follow, follow, right? I've misclicked on follows before. Yeah, do, during my game, when I then had, I couldn't serve him, I had to do, like, a 4-4-4-1-D four, 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 or something. <laughs> instead yeah. of just going for the, instead of going for the uphill serve, like, I, I, cause that was just because I, I stayed or I followed by accident, whichever one it was. Uh, so it's possible. Oh, oh, that yes, right, right at the end where you're trying to sack him, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that was just yeah. that was just misclick. So it's possibly yeah. just misclick the follow, right? Yeah, fair, and then fair, fair. and then maybe maybe Bright thought or Dion Lord thought, oh look, you know, he's he's misclicked. Yeah, <laughs> I will, yeah, I will yeah, take yeah, this. maybe, maybe. <laughs> Maybe he like sent the like the specific uh, sequence of emotes to indicate a misclick. <laughs> so, like it's like uh, like the, the the tall ships, right? Like the old the olden days of the ships where they run up different flags and stuff. All kinds of lovely sequences of flags to communicate with the other ships. It's like that, but with emotes. So, yeah, yeah. Take take us back to the uh, to the 16th century here. Yeah, yeah. He sent him the despair, and then the Lord was right. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> he sent him the. He said, "What? What did he send him? Do we even get the emotes on here while we're watching?" I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. You know, How, it would be great if you could emote as a spectator and the, and the, and the players could see it. That would be great. <laughs> oh man. And hello, Super G. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I can see not going for it if it was a random game in CCL where you think you'll get better chances and stuff, right? But, like, I just don't think yeah. that this is... You know, like, I think you've got to take these chances in these kind of games. Yeah. Okay, I mean, one in nine. it was about as good suck. as you get, right? Yeah. Like, okay, a Crocs block early isn't nice, but still, yeah, we're eight, eight out of nine, we're eight out of nine. You know, not turning over, obviously a bit less with Bonehead to actually succeed. But yeah, I mean, yeah. gotta gotta take those surely. Yeah, I think you've got. To. <laughs> but yeah, he isn't. He isn't a pickle. He isn't a pickle. To be fair. Mm. Ooh. But I mean, this is exactly the sort of thing that you want to do versus typical ladder opponents, right? Like, I think this is, I think this is great versus typical ladder opponents. What you mean, not not taking that thing, not, not taking yeah. that sack? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I, just, I don't know. I, I just even even versus a noob, I'm probably going for that. Mm, but I mean, yeah, you may, know, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Bright's in a pickle, isn't he? Though Bright is in a very it's much true, in a pickle. True. Man. Yeah, true. It's it's fair. Like, it's it's funny how how you know how the ball sack is probably wrong more often than we realize, right? Like fucking Dio, <laughs> Dio with his you know trap sacks and all that. You know, it's probably it's probably correct, right? Yeah. Probably correct a lot of the time to leave your opponent some uh, dodgy ball sack or something. Yeah. It's insane, but whatever. <laughs> it is insane. But it's like the space cadetting, isn't it? I, I prefer space cadetting to trap sacks. <laughs> space cadetting's definitely a real thing. Like it could just it just so is. It just so is a real thing, space cadetting. And uh Defending the ball is super easy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dio is very right saying the thing is he goes he goes he sort of goes further than that. I mean like, don't get me wrong, like I'm kinda of taking a piss a bit, but like I do I like genuinely agree with him. You know, like he, he he's more than happy to leave like extra bits on than you know a lot of people would. Yeah. Never mind not take them. It's oh it's hilarious. Like pretty much every time we play, he, he he's like, Oh good good job, you left me a sack on and yeah, I I and I missed it and it I fell. And I was like, What? I didn't even notice I left you know, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's really <hilarious. laughs> Amazing. Oh yeah, wow, actually uh yeah, went really two far just back. to score, yeah, we're we're close to the end of the drive, wow. Yeah. And that's right, with we, full we've dicked you out too much. Yeah, yeah, with uh, with full forward movement, that was critical yeah. turn six. And uh he's forced him back. And all he takes is one dodging and a one D to make it um uh, B rushers <laughs> mm. do, do, do that every turn <laughs> it's four rushers <laughs> yeah and and you, funny you're talking about space cadetting do you remember that brilliant space cadetting that i did versus you in era bb when i just <laughs> when i just let you roll like oh. a million three pluses and two pluses <laughs> to sack the ball that was and, i really nearly got you with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if you oh. understand oh badly hurt so obviously badly instant hurt. apple so yeah both apples gone now yeah one on the care one on the badly hurt yep I mean, badly hurt is the dream, isn't it, for lizards? Like, yeah. I mean, not really. Like, obviously, you don't really want your Saurus badly hurt, but at least you don't need to think at all, and you're a hundred percent confident that you've made the correct Apo decision. Whereas, it, if that was a serious injury, do you Apo it? Do you go for the thirty-seven? It's and a half? horrendous. It's yeah. horrendous, isn't it? Absolutely horrendous. Yeah. Big, big decision. If it's a KO, do you, do you go? Do you think? Well, I might not even score here. This might only be a fifty-fifty to get him back if I don't Apo the KO. Right? Like it's looking. Uh -huh. That he might not score now, so a KO would have been a decision then. But uh, at least yep. the badly hurt is is a hundred percent not a decision. Ooh, well, no decision to be made that. Yep. Yeah, no more, no more decisions on apples. No, that's the advantage of. Uh, Taking non apo goals, right? Less, less brain power, right? Yeah. Odd. Well, I think that's brain power, but it's it's like they, they, they are such horrible decisions to make, right? It feels terrible. So yeah. at least you just take that out of your hands and, uh, and not have to feel bad about it. Yeah, and it's the biggest one where it's there's like uh, there's probably a term for the kind of regret you feel when like you know yeah yeah uh, <laughs> like well, well, could I have done this? Would this have been better? Uh, yeah. A bit like you know the results based decisions yeah. and all that. You're like, oh, should I? Oh, I shouldn't have done that because now this guy's yeah, being KO'd. Yeah, and yeah. It's, yeah. You know, at least if oh, you just you go you a region. the term and it, it fails, and you eat like, oh, I don't know, should I have done that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. And at least if you're undead, you're like, oh, well, okay, I can't up all the ghouls and yeah, the, yeah, others, right. the others have got region. There we go. Just just play undead. There we go. That's the solution. Yep. <laughs> Hello, D. Starter. What a seal of approval. Thanks very much. <laughs> That's hilarious. What a, what a chatter. Yeah. Just coming straight in. <laughs> straight in with that. This is horrendous now for Bray, isn't it? And Yeah. You can't even really think about how do I not get scored on. Like, this, this is just horrible, yeah. all of his guys. So. The guards all separated, so now the guards just worse than block, right? Pretty much. I guess you could one so d the, the qu crocs. The question is like, and this is like an interesting bar about blood bowl that like we can't we can't answer now really, and like, but I think it, it, it's something that could be a lot like investigated by people with bigger brains than us. But it's like, how did we get to this state, right? You know, why did th this drive like fail basically, or look like close to failing? You know, like what 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 are all the the steps and the and the you know 
what's the big analysis here of this game? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that, Elliot. <laughs> um, <laughs> my answer is we'll find out when we get Blood Bowl yeah, Stockfish no, one day. Tricky, right. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. But it's, it's tricky, isn't it? Tr 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 tricky question to answer, I think, right? It's, uh, yeah. It works out. Did Bright go wrong? Did he go wrong? You know? It's brutal, isn't it? It's like, it's just loads of, like, little... It's because it's yeah. all it's also uh, it's also what's the word like cumulative, isn't it? It's like the cumulative yeah. decisions and dice rolls are just so hard to like, you know, break down. Like you can obviously do big mistakes and big dice rolls; they're obvious, right? Like if he does something stupid, like leave a sack on, <laughs> um, or not taking a sack, you know, like things like that. You can you can you can just see. And be like, well, that you know, that was terrible, right? Like, there's no way you should have left like a three plus to sack the ball or whatever. And like, but um, but this, it's it's not been clear, has it? Yeah. Are you a YouTube viewer, Baron Bucky? Just, uh, <laughs> just asking. He's a fumble. He's a fumble viewer. That's for sure. I know. I know. He I know, does I love know. the I, fumbles. He, he seems slightly antagonistic, so I, I thought he might have uh, been uh, the, the the guy on the video. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it, it's it, right, like 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 you say, it's it, it's it's difficult to, to pinpoint, right? But, what's yeah. but like uh, someone has said, Super G, yeah. Now now, how good does that no sack look, right? You know, yeah. incredible. Of course, he might end this half nil nil, and if he'd gone for the sack, he might have ended it one nil up. He's the only fumble viewer. It's, it's sad <laughs> but true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, like he, he counts for a lot though. Like he makes up like ten viewers by himself. Yeah. <laughs> He's pretty enthusiastic about fumble. <laughs> fumble viewers are the new are the new console <laughs> blood bowl community, aren't they? <laughs> I mean this it, even the potato looks difficult. Like the the how do you not get yep. scored on looks difficult. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, we just, we just, we did so much trouble, aren't we here? Sure. Yeah. Yep, we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I wondered oh. if uh, if just like wow. screen, you know, blitz run away and screen the, the, the skink for another turn and then hopefully yeah, run into okay, the corner. So it's hard though, isn't it? It is. So how about, I I agree with that. You, yeah, you run back a bit, you screen, and then you you like, you put a skink forwards or something <laughs> and you pass to it. Would that be insane? <laughs> like oh. probably, but like... <laughs> You're fucked, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I just think try and get out of the half at nil-nil. I think... Oh, my God, wow. Yeah, this is brutal. We're extra it? fucked now. I don't even think go for the pass. Just literally try and, like, run back okay, to here yeah, this fair, turn fair. and then next turn run there and go in the corner and just hope, you know, like, when the ball goes and, you know, he'll dodge in and sack you and then the ball will go in the crowd or whatever. Like, I just think it was that bad. I think it was so, so yeah, bad. They fair. just tried to get out of half nil-nil. Um, yeah, fair, fair. And you've got pretty good chances on that defense, or or with the one turn even, right? So yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe maybe um, Bright's defense will go like yeah. the young lords have. Yeah. If this has been turn six. I would have liked the scatter just to like maybe get the the catch on one of the Saurus, but um, mm -hmm. I think now obviously he's just got to go for the king pickup, hasn't he? Uh, I mean, you could have. I guess you could have gone for the scatter and not followed, right? Get oh, yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah. But then not following is kind of shit as well. So. Yeah. Also, if he didn't follow it, it could have, it could have bounced onto him and then onto that skink. Oh, activated. Or yeah. then he could have not catched it and then he could have gone to yeah. you anyway. <laughs> and then yeah. he's going to have had the ball and a sore as here. Which wouldn't be terrible, right? But... No, yeah. Yeah, not ideal, yeah. It wouldn't be terrible, but you definitely want to go for the pickup for sure. Ye old skink pickup. And the thing is, it's interesting because right on, uh, no, fuck me, Diom Lord, Diom Lord on defense. I just being so fucking now obsessed he kind with of has a big advantage on of his offense, right? And you, I mean, assuming and, like, you can't even fucking qualify. Sorry, sorry, we can't hear you. Dimmy's, more fucking Dimmy's rats. done rats. <laughs> oh. Why the fuck would For anyone say that much <laughs> fucking rats? Jesus Chatters Christ. on fucking holiday. Who would spam chat commands when they're on fucking holiday? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Amazing. Right, you you, you, can, you may continue, Elliot. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, uh, so, so yeah, so now uh, Diamond Lord has, uh, has, uh, has like an advantage for his offence, right? In that 
he, he could he could sit back, you know. He he doesn't have to. He he could put one hundred percent effort into keep, keeping the ball. You know, absolutely no trap sacks at all, right? Yeah. Because he knows he doesn't even have to score. Yeah. So yeah, all, all, all of a sudden it's uh, yeah. I mean, obviously it, it had to be given that the fact he's had the successful defense, but yeah, so suddenly his offense looks a lot trickier. Uh, sorry, a lot a lot more a, a lot uh, more straightforward. Yep. But it's still relatively easy 2D on the ball, right? Just three plus for the yeah, assist, yeah, and then yeah. a couple of three pluses to, uh, or maybe even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, two, a couple of three pluses, and uh, and another three plus to hit. So pretty easy 2D on the ball. Yep. I think I prefer Pretty, uh, blitzing with that one, honestly, because like this gives you net. This means you've got to do an extra GFI. It does or dodge, right? It gets you like potentially you have more movement, I guess. If you if you do the three dodges, like maybe yeah. you just want to get as far away as possible. Yeah, yeah. If you do if you do the three dodges, which is what he's gone for, and he gets them. Ooh. Do you just take the ball down? No, he re-rolls. Oh. 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 And it was pretty instant as well, wasn't it? That was oh. a pretty instant re-roll. Yeah, I, I I think it's fair. Like, what with the other skink there as well, right? Like, even if you bake armor, it's still, like, such a high chance. Of... Yeah. It's fair, I think. Maybe, I wonder if this guy could have gone and, like, tagged that guy, but then he just blitz him off, wouldn't he, on 3D? Yeah. So. It, it's one of those what you always go on about where, you know... You, you know, sometimes you've got to take the, the low odds thing because the chance of your opponent failing is even low odds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, the chain here is uh, puts him back a square. But you still got to try it, haven't you? Because it's like a free chance at not doing a 3+. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh no, you could, you could. Uh, oh no, you're still backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he could run all the way around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can run all the way around. You can blitz this way. Yeah, and there he's got him. Oh, yeah, so but then you just pal, you can just move the skin there. Yeah, because that was that's yeah. what I was looking at. But I was like, oh, you're still pushing the ball backwards. But not that it matters. Like it's still in range anyway, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see all the whole board. I just this was the most obvious one. He gets the pal. Moves him back. Wah. Happy days. Yeah. Oh, moves him forward doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't literally didn't matter. Which yeah, one. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking move back, but <laughs> and he gets to three D skink block. Yeah, well. And make some other blocks. A couple of other blocks. Two KOs already that need to be rolled for. Uh, right. Do you re-roll this? He doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> probably not. About oh, the off, I guess. It's like probably it's plus EV to reroll. No, I don't know. Honestly, 216. I don't know. Yeah, one in two hundred and sixteen no. is actually quite likely, isn't it? Yeah, and it's yeah because it's like obviously it's so unlikely. I mean, yeah, it's, it's very unlikely, right? But it it's it, the difference between scoring and not scoring. You know, the obvious thing to say, but it's so ridiculously big, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Oh, and the the so the guard that was KO'd because he didn't have block oh, oh, <laughs> remains KO'd. Oh. So those blocks, the, the guard doing a, a bit of work perhaps and getting hits in, but the, uh, the 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 critical job of the block getting more knockdowns and being knocked down less, mm. but absolutely doing the business so far. Yep. And now Bright Bright was the one who went with ele with eleven players, so he's down to ten. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's kind of brutal for him. So, so what? Dim Lord has two rerolls. Then is that right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like yeah. look, two rerolls on offense. Things can go wrong for the for, oh, yeah. for Dim Lord yeah. still very easily. Just yeah, some dice. Yeah, a couple of pickups like easy peasy. Yeah. He fe fell one pickup. There's four skinks in range of the ball the next turn. <laughs> yeah. Well, five now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, wait, oh no, no, four, four. He hasn't got the yeah, reserve. He, he hasn't got the reserve. There is a replacement. Yeah. Don't. Yeah, yeah. God, sorry, I'm stupid. <sighs> and and they call me the bad commentator. What the fuck? <laughs> Just that they could have done without you. <laughs> Didn't say I was any better. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> Hello, Enzo. 
I don't know what that means, but hello. <laughs> it's a cat bot. Ah, uh, I, I, I haven't got the thing on my thing. I've, I need that thing. Wait. That you don't have. Oh, what? Like better t BT TV or Seven Seven TV or whatever. Oh, but I, I've not got that either. That's just like a person's emote. I thought. Well, it, it oh, it didn't show up on my chatbot. Ah, oh right. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did fill in. They oh, did. Yeah, it is because it's a capital letter. Yeah, yeah. So I guess it is. Someone called Elliot a bad commentator. No, um, they said could have done without the co-host. Didn't say he was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a cat foot. Oh, look at this. We've got a pretty, uh, a pretty anti-blitz set up here. Nice to see. And there is a blitz. Oh. And uh, it, it wow. could have been better, right? He could have been on the LOS with one behind, yeah. And this yep. could have been here, so it wasn't the best. It was it was a decent anti blitz setup, but it wasn't the best anti blitz setup. Yeah, like you you stay off the LOS because you're like worried about the perfect defense, right, or the solid defense now. But like, who who cares? You're a strength four block anyway, right? You can if they base you up, you can you can punch them back. So yeah, on the LOS, I think was the way to go. Yeah, four. Well, things things just got interesting, didn't they? There are, of course, no rerolls available for this. Yes. Oh, yeah. So I think he's going to three make it, or he can't make it with three dice. He's going to, you know, try and do maybe some only one safe move first. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a limited amount you can do. To be fair, right? You want to jam people in on the ball, I guess. Yeah. We got all six, didn't we? We rolled a three out of three on the D three. So yep. Six peoples. I think we'll just make like an L shape. Oh, we followed. Yeah. I yeah, I think we'll make an L shape. Was my tinking? No, he's not. Don't know who Joey Lawler is. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he's a. <laughs> it's nothing like you, actually. I, no, I guess he likes boobies. <laughs> oh my god, the guy behind oh, it! Oh my god, it what a play! He got it. Oh, what a play. genius! I mean, I would have done the L shape, which would have still worked, right? Because you'd have had the ball behind an, an L shape of players. Like, I really like yeah. having the you L shape. You can scatter it then, though, right? Yeah. Well, it would, it would have just landed there, right? He actually increased the chance of a touchback by having a guy behind it. Yeah, he did, he did. Very little amount, but... And, yeah, you could have Like, if he was on the floor, you could just, like, block a source and, and scatter it. Yeah. Also, you could have put a player here, and then it would have been a bit trickier, right? If he'd had a player here. Yeah. Because now he can just bring in a skink and 2D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting that he feel the chameleon skink, I guess, you know, going for the on the ball, just to, you know, yeah. free chance to catch the ball. Uh, yeah. Game on, yeah. Indeed, game on. Mm. So it's, it's funny, it's funny, because uh, there were some people in chat saying, this is over a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> not over anymore, is it? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> oh, is he, is he going to hit the ball? No, he could have. Uh, he could have pushed the skink to here, right, and then one D this guy, and then blitz the ball. Oh, badly hurt. Oh, oh. oh. oh he can just blitz the ball this way. Except he's got no one left to do it, unless the crocs blocks. But that's a one D. Oh, he could he could blitz it backwards. He could one he could dodge in one D it backwards into the sources. Okay, yeah. He could have tagged up the block the the, the isolated block source and then dodged in. But he's he's very conservative, isn't he, Diomlo? That's one thing I've noticed from watching him. He is very yeah. But the opponent's got his ball. <laughs> <laughs> but he's very conservative, and it yeah, worked. It fair, worked last fair. half. So. It did. Wow, it did, didn't it? Did it did? And he is like what two players up now? So yeah. And he's like, even if um, Bright scores, it's like, okay, fine. You know, it's still yeah. only 1-1 and I've got a big man's advantage now. Yeah. So, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. He might not even go for this hit. He might just... He might just uh, 1D blitz or something with the other Saurus. <laughs> what if you could... No, no, I wonder if you could feed the crops. Like, he could bring in the skink, right, and then 1D blitz the crocs to get the other Saurus across. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or he could just uphill, or he could 1D the ball. 
guess he's going to want to do the ball. Yeah. Gets the ball down. Definitely take this. Oh. <laughs> it was another one. Oh, my God. Oh, no. The Umlords yeah, team well. in tatters. Yeah, this is... Uh... Obviously, Diablo has played excellently, but uh, very unfortunate for Bright with the rules. Yeah. Take it with him. Take it with him gambling a little bit with a uh, no bench as well and yeah. getting absolutely devastated for it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, thanks, D Starter, and thanks to Aya. There you go. The last three years, yeah. Yeah, it's all gone a bit wrong for not even the last three years, probably the last five years, but it's particularly the last ten months, right? I, you know, Elliot's the same. <laughs> I, I remember the cross out days. Oh, God. Bring yeah, back yeah. the cross out. Yeah, cross out. I, I've, never really, I've never really, like, taken it as seriously as I should or could have, I guess. What, the um, cross out? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if joking or not. And <laughs> well, it was a good scout, though, wasn't it? It was, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, He's we, in we can nice actually get this back though for, for Bright. It was, yeah. yeah. Uh, still not quite over. It's not looking good. But... He has got the problem of the cage being his entire team. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's obviously not going to score. Oh, mm. oh, he's got another skin to pick up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that saves Yeah, true, true, yeah. <laughs> not many players left. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is not good, is it? Got a 1D here, hasn't he? Like, I just think he has to again. It's, it's just desperation. Yeah. I would have 1D'd yeah. the Crocs, though. I would have 1D'd the Crocs. Yes, yeah, yeah. For that, that juicy belt down would have hurt the business. Mm hmm. Not dead anyway. Yeah, not dead. The skink. <laughs> play, played the better of the two. I, I, I don't know. Like a bit like in the first half when uh, we were talking about how how the drive had gone and stuff. Like I, I, I find it hard to say that Dion Lord has played better because like I don't know. I don't know what Bright could have done honestly, which is kind yeah. of a bad thing to say. But uh, it just seemed to slip away from him in the first half, and uh, yeah. I don't really know why. <laughs> which is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. It's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, he couldn't pinpoint like mistakes. Like, uh, I guess the follow right that that wasn't even that wasn't even followed up. On, oh like. yeah, 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 yeah. That that was probably a mistake, but it was irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, really weird. Freeing this guy actually just probably makes it worse for Bright, doesn't it? Because now there's just even more for uh, yeah for the Lord to react with. And put you know his whole team on these four players, five players. Maybe, uh, maybe your DM Lord deliberately got blitzed on because he, he turned over bright in the first half, so he thought, well, it's better just to go back on defense again. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Chain push. Um, I guess he could have done right. He could have put a player here. Like, obviously, he was blitzing there to get the follow up hit, but I guess he could have put a player in there first. And then he could have still got the follow up hit if it was a push. Again, he could have, like, literally pushed this guy to where he was. So I guess putting that guy in first was just correct. There's something more in the way in case you caught schools. Yeah. Do we just have to like potato off into the sunset here or what? That's like <laughs> You might have to. <laughs> we're so we're so flipped, it's it's crazy. Yeah, the guard blitzes, stands in there. Oh he doubles, doubles oh, down. Yeah. Dub skulls! <laughs> oh dear me. Well that's obviously no. really, really, really unlucky. It is really unlucky, isn't it? Whichever way you slice it, one in eighty one block yeah. is super unlucky. 
yeah. And honestly, yeah. even if he, he had block, copy. he might have re-rolled that to to like yeah. you know yeah, oh, get yeah. him up. And... Might have had to, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now this is. Uh... Back to saying it's over. Yeah, you you were like you were like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now this is really really. Really, 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 really bad for Bright. <laughs> yeah, alright, Hexaskulls, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and Bright was the player who'd won both his games. Uh, Dion Lord had lost oh, a game. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, really here we go, the slightly dodgy format. Yeah, this is a very. Oh, well, he's managed to. Not get the surf here the way that he's assisted the blocks, which I don't like <laughs> at all. Yeah, I thought he was going to make that 3D that first hit, to be honest, and, and just like take a knockdown. Oh, he did make it 3D, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. But but he hasn't like it's not there's not an easy surf on, is there? Yeah, yeah. Which is weird to have not allowed the easy like three dice blitz surf. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I thought that the skink was going to go around the back and um, and assist for the 3D, which would have left that that the spot the source is in, you know, not filled. Yeah. Yeah, really weird to fill in all of the fill in all oh, the yeah, slots. Still, yeah, but now and now he, and now he's followed up. Now he <laughs> yeah. now yeah. he can't surf either. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, he's still in a tough spot, isn't he? Like, this just seems oh. to be Dion Lord's thing, you know? Just play super safe. Leave yeah, people yeah. in just horrible, horrible spots. But, you know, like, yeah. it, it's it's interesting, isn't it? Like, I personally would have wanted to surf the ball and and then go and pick yeah. it up with one of my skinks. Like, oh, he does. He just dodges to get the well. surf. Okay. Well, oh, okay, I hate that. <laughs> so it was mistakes. It wasn't on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe maybe another accent will follow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know they're probably both getting used to the well. Dion yeah, Lord, probably, probably. Yeah, yeah. good chance Dion Lord's getting used to the interface or, or just like you know struggles with it because it's rubbish. Yeah. Not, rather than getting used to it, they, they could both be level hundred, and they could still just be struggling with the interface because it sucks. I quite like leaving this skink here, so I think I would have just gone for the pickup. But I guess it's good having yeah. two skinks, even though you're letting this guy out for free. At least you've got two skinks next to the ball. Yeah. Oh, and if you just even re-roll that, because mm. like the worst possible situation is that that skink runs against the ball and you can't power it. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? He can get it and he can GFI. He can only GFI away once. I wonder if you could maybe chain now. You've got, there's no chance of any chains. You've got no uh, players left. Uh, <laughs> like, the crocs can blitz, right? Yeah, look, yeah, he's got yeah. the he's got the one D push. The Crocs can blitz. That's pretty great. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty bad like from a... the Omlord, right, to allow that. We packed it not being over. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh man, Crocs blitz. Crocs pick up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you go quite that crazy. <laughs> but yeah, the Crocs blitz is pretty good. So yeah, this is the first. This is the first um, final phase game being played, and it sure looks like the guy who won both of his first games is going to be eliminated on his first loss, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's very but... looking very likely. It, it's it's kind of extra weird, right? Because the finals are also double elimination, right? So <laughs> there were effectively two rounds of double elimination, and then this one single single elimination round, and then back to double elimination for the finals. Yeah. It's like why not just go the whole hog and make one extra round and do double elimination here as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, really is sad. And like you know, obviously, when there was a chance of me benefiting benefiting from it, I endorsed it, and I endorsed it after after it would have just hurt me, right? After it was my first game, I was still yeah, all for yeah. the, them getting the extra chance. I think it really does suck that yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. for fairness. But uh, as it is, it, you could be one of the people falling foul of it, couldn't you? You know, you could. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and look, I don't think if if I did, I don't think it would be unfair because like ultimately, we'll play them by the same rules, we all the same chances. But it, it it just feels bad, right? Yes. You know, it, yeah. It, it really feels bad. Yeah, but I mean, what I mean is the only the the only reason for it is for feelings of fairness, right? There's there's no like, there's I, no. I, I guess. Like I, do, I don't think it's getting a better quality of coach or anything. Do you know what I mean? I think it does slightly, right? I mean, 
it, 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 by having double elimination, right? Like very slightly. Like the chances are, you know, slightly. Yeah. Like the the more the more round you have, the more the, the more you you abstract, the more you take away the dice, right? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Less. Only by a little bit, of course. You know. Yeah. Only, like, only by a tiny bit, but. Yeah. Like, I really don't think it matters. Like, honestly, like... And plus, the, the thing is, it just doesn't matter, right? At the end of the day, look, there's not millions and millions of dollars of sponsorship on the line, right? No one really, really cares whether Hiru or Nick or Daz is in the final 14, right? I just picked those at random that I was looking at, all right? It could be Elliot and Seabros or Jimmy and Galenti or whoever, right? No one really cares which, you know, which people are in the top 14, right? There's not, like, you know, it's not as if, like, you're having a a tennis tournament that didn't have Djokovic in, right? Like, that would be mental, right? Like, there's... Or a, or a snooker tournament without all Sullivan. Like, it's not like that, is it? Do you know what I mean? It, there's, there's no real reason. The only real reason is for, like, competitiveness slash fa yeah. feelings of fairness. Because, like... Yes, yeah. Blood Bowl's pretty 50 How the competitors perceive it, yeah. Yeah, it's... Blood Bowl's pretty 50-50. And, like, with these 14 games... You know, the losers could win more than the winners very easily. And and there's a very good chance that, like, about seven people are going to feel yep. really hard done by. That's, like, the main thing. I love this, the skink two dicing the Crocs, by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> we could both die during the game, Seabors. <laughs> yeah. So double elimination, Enzo, is if you lose, you get another chance. There's, like, a winner's bracket and a loser's bracket. And you've got so you've got to lose twice to be eliminated from the tournament. So, for example, I won my first game versus Mr. Page, then I lost my second game versus Galentio, and then rather than being out, I had a, a second chance uh, where I lost to Hubbin Bubbin. Whereas Elliot, um, he won his first game and won his second game, and now if he loses his third game versus Seabros, who's already lost <laughs> once, if he loses to Seabros, then he's just out of the competition on one loss. So he's going to feel bad <laughs> if, he, if that happens. I don't know how to, Like, I don't mean he's definitely going to feel bad, but the, pe <laughs> the people who lose the, that game after winning their first two and then are out after losing one are going to feel bad. And, you know, like... It's what we all signed up for and everything, right? And it's like, it's free to enter and stuff and that. So, like, you know, no one's going to complain or anything, are they? But, it, like, we complained before. Yeah. Some people complained before because just because those people are going to feel so bad. Yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah. really yeah. all yeah. it is. And it's just so, it's so weird. <laughs> yeah. It's so it's weird really that weird. they just, this one single, single elimination round in the middle of everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, I mean, this is done now, isn't it? Bright is... Bright is going to feel bad. He's lost one game and he's out. Yeah, brutal. Uh, they've never changed rules between matches, Brightstone. The only thing they changed between matches was um, a solution to a problem, which was... Yeah. The, uh, which was... Well, first of all, they tried to set up as friendly <laughs> matches. Then then we realised friendly <laughs> matches wouldn't have overtime. <laughs> so then they had to change it to like a, a spin league. And, but then that was before the matches start, started. And then once the matches started, Elliot discovered um, tier three and four teams <laughs> would, would, would get praised enough. Up. <laughs> and then to sort of counteract that, they, uh, I came up with a solution, which they then implemented of somebody buying a cheerleader because, you know, as, a, as an inducement, because it's very unlikely to have an effect. And even if it does have an effect, the effect would be the praised enough that they would have got if they hadn't got it. <laughs> so... It seemed like a very tidy solution to that particular problem. And for fairness, me and my opponent decided to play a best of nine for round one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kept conceding until they got an irrelevant one, which is fair to do, right? That's fair to do. I think somebody played with one that was relevant. I think somebody. Ooh, really? Yeah, I think somebody did play with a relevant one. Yeah, but... the first like my my opponent had a dirty play sneaky. He was the old way right with the dirty play sneaky catcher, and the first one we got was the automatically caught on fouls one. <laughs> and I got it obviously because it was just hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, we it had to, had to be start that. That would be tremendous. Yeah. And yeah, fair, fair play. We, we said this last time we casted, I remember. But yeah, the, the admins have been really good. The people organising the tournament, just, despite the format being a, you know, kind of weird and the time is being weird, they've responded really well and they've like tried to fix all the problems that come up. So that's, yeah. that's, that's what's been really good. Yeah, they have been great. They have been like genuinely really, really great. 100%. Yeah, 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 for sure. And yeah, the I'm, red... I'm impressed by like how... 
like when we brought up this prayer thing, like they realized it was a problem and that it had to be fixed. Like I, I was kind of surprised by that. Like how how are they blood bowl people? Like how did they understand our problem? I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> like I really don't. <laughs> yeah, and it was instant, wasn't it? They were instantly just like, yeah, right, yeah, we're making yeah. a spin league, and then that'll go yeah. over time and stuff. And it was yeah. it was they were really on the ball. Yeah, definitely impressed on that front. Yep. The red dice have been the the red the red lizards have been diced hard. And, and this is the problem with blood yeah, ball, isn't yeah. it? And yeah, and you know he might have lost anyway, right? Like like I think Dion yep. Lord has played well, has played safe, but again, yeah. like Elliot, I really don't know how they got into that horrible situation or not yeah. on Bright's offense without any removals, really, right? There was no removals to speak of when he got into would the bad spot. Would have been would have been interesting to see a a, a, um, a Dion Lord offense, right, from from turn one, like you know, like yeah. if the game was restarted with Dion Lord in offense, would be interesting to see how that gone. Yeah. Uh, how we dealt with it. Yeah. I mean, like, that's as any team, no, not just as lizards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and this, the, the better dice have happened in the second half, right? Like, if this half had happened first, <laughs> it yeah, would have yeah, been yeah, a yeah. dicing hundred percent. But but you know he'd already done the hard part, oh, right? Like on on. Oh, that was the other way. Around. Oh, wait, that, that was, was a blue, blue lizard. That was a blue lizard. Um. Yeah, Dion had already done the hard part of like of just. You know, getting in a dominant position on defense, but the problem was neither me nor Elliot really, really knew how it had happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so like was it's, it? It's just like, what, I know. Was it, what, what was it? There is like something going on underneath Blood Bowl. It feels like, but I, it's kind of hard to like really analyze well. I mean, like we'll never know, will we? You know. Computer. We'll, we'll never we know. We will one day, right? Oh, like, I guess, yeah, like, with the computers. Yeah, 41st the computers. millennium or whatever, like, someone's going to be like, let's let's fucking press a button and make a super computer blood bowl AI like, for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Computers, and, like, look how far computers have got since we landed on the moon, right? Like, now yeah. now, now, mobile phones are more powerful than the computers they oh, used to land God. on the moon, didn't, aren't they? Yeah. Which like, is insane. Yeah. So, you know, what happens if there's another, like, leap in technology? It's possible, isn't it? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if there is... Like quantum computing going on. There you go. If there is some kind of leap, then maybe, then maybe Elliot will just go right, right, right. I'll just make blood ball stockfish there. I'll just press this button and make blood ball stockfish, and then we'll know. But like, it's not like chess is there with this fifteen hundred years of people dedicating yeah, their exactly. life to it and writing yeah. books, and then other people dedicating their life and yes. reading all of those books, and then writing their own but, books, and then other people's, and also super geniuses as well, aren't they? Like, I don't, I don't know if that's yeah. a real thing, but like, do you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure what, Magnus Carlsen's geniuses? smarter than yeah. I just made it up. I'm, but I'm pretty sure, my, like, because genius isn't very smart. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, the definition of genius according to, uh, what's it called? Like, it's like top 10% or something. It's not even impressive oh, being I a see. genius. But, like, I'm sure Magnus Carlsen is smarter than everybody who plays Blood Bowl. <laughs> I mean, mostly because he doesn't play Blood Bowl. <laughs> 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 but, you know, no offense, Elliot or, or K Fog or anybody else. I'm pretty sure Magnus Carlsen is smarter than everyone who plays Blood Bowl. So, like, you know, you'd need somebody as smart as him. And then, and then all the thousands of people as smart as him yeah, in history who've yeah, also written, yeah. written and read all about chess. Like, you just can't compare. That, and yeah. they like they dedicate their lives to it, don't they? Whereas Blood Bowl, we've got yeah. some people who half assedly play and talk about it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and then the problem is that you put all the effort into chess, or you put all the effort of your you, you put your own effort combined with the effort of all the generations of people before you into it, and it makes you like it makes you better at chess. Whereas you do it with Blood Bowl, and it, and it makes you only a teeny tiny bit better at Blood Bowl. <laughs> Because you're going to get fucked no matter what you do. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You put in, you put in Blood Bowl Stockfish against Dave O's game where he made ten cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and see how well they do. I say, hi, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ, that is the dicing of the tournament. So I mean, that is hard to oh beat, isn't God, it? Yeah. Ten cards, yeah. Jesus Christ, and like about six of them were Saurus. <laughs> Jesus, wow, people. Yeah. No oh, glorious bluggy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, look, I still think. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Elliot's a genius, and uh, Dio, and you know, or a lot of the other people are like you know by the by the dictionary definition or, or whatever or the well by by someone's definition by like, someone's well, definition. I, oh, oh, 
Ultimately, I think all discussions on like intelligence and that are kind of all the like, Yeah, IQ uh, is, has got a lot of things wrong with it and stuff, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, exactly. There's so much baggage there and stuff, and you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's all a lot of bollocks, obviously. Yeah. But very smart. <laughs> we can we can agree that there's a lot of very smart people play Blood Bowl. But I don't know, I'm just wearing my t shirt and me me jeans, you know. <laughs> but um we can also agree that Magnus Carlson's probably smarter than all of them. <laughs> But again, he just wouldn't get to the level that he's got in chess. He wouldn't get to the same level in Blood Bowl because he hasn't got all of those years to draw on, right? Even if he had yep. studied Blood Bowl uh, for all that yep. time. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, we, so basically, in like 1,500 years or whatever, you know, Magnus Carlsen, the, you know, one millionth, is going to be sitting down... You know, to do some Blood Bowl study and and reading, you know, the works of you know Messrs. Fantastic and Eliard. You know, and, uh, you know, <laughs> watching watching some uh, um, uh, be beginner watch some over explained chaos videos on YouTube. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> standing definitely. on the shoulders of giants. <laughs> exactly. Oh dear, that was hilarious. So, so bright, bright was uh, no. Dion Lord was setting up to stop the one turn, right? Gridding against the one turn because technically, there could have been a, a timeout. Bright could have scored a one turn, and then there could have been yeah. another timeout or a blitz. Yeah. And then, so technically, there was a chance Bright was making it to two two, and then Bright uh -huh. just thought. Fuck yeah. off, this is stupid. Yeah, I'm not going to sit and That's wait for fair. you to do that, which is that completely is fair. fair, yeah. yeah. Completely yeah. fair. And, and the organisers did say it was fine, you know, conceding yeah. and stuff, because it just it just doesn't matter. Like, you know, like there, there might there will be rules for the, the, the finals, they said, because, you know, the ones that they are doing official broadcasts yeah, of. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, mm. sure. Yeah, because like, uh, uh, not not many people might know this, but you know there was a there was a snooker tournament where Ronnie O'Sullivan just walked off because he was pissed off, and he just he just quit, like literally just rage quit or or, or bored quit, or whatever, and just walked out of the arena, and just didn't finish his game and stuff, which is pretty horrendous when like you know th you know hundreds of people, I don't know if yeah. there's thousands in the Crucible, but hundreds of people had gone there to see him. Yeah play because he's the man isn't he and like you, you know yeah, and they effectively all... pay you right like yeah. their, their money like you know they get, you get a lot of prize money right i mean not compared to some sports obviously but like more, more than blood bowl and you know yeah and, and that their, their, their tickets they partially goes to that right so yeah so like so that was that was a complete disgrace but you know and so it'd be similar in you know the finals of this okay if there was money and stuff involved which I mean, there is prize money but you know like sponsorship money and spectator money and all that sort of stuff yeah. but but this yeah. there isn't even that yeah so, so it's completely fair for bright to concede it would have been i think it'd been fair to have conceded like a, a lot earlier than when he did concede <laughs> so there you go um Oh my god, yeah, the anal beads is hilarious, isn't it, in chess? Was it? There's been another anal beads thing, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been... There was a, there was a guy at play... He won a Chinese chess tournament, uh, which is like... A, a, I think it's a variation of chess rather than, like, a Chinese oh, chess really? tournament. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, right. And apparently he pooed in the bathtub afterwards, and then some people have linked that to... Well, so the oh. official word was that, you know, he was just... He was just he, he, right. he like carried on in a in a horrendous way, and they stripped him because he's like brought the game into yeah, disrepute, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. That's the official line. But then people on the internet <laughs> have been like, like so "Was he pooing in the bathtub to <laughs> retrieve his anal beads?" <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's there's a there's about as much to this anal bead story as there was to the first anal bead story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still really, but it's a really funny meme, I think. <laughs> I think it's great. Anyway, and on that bumshell, thank you. Hey. <laughs> hey. I got it. Thank you very much, Elliot. Very, very great of you to join me in the booth today. Glorious, as always. Thank you so much. Nah. Nah. And uh, congratulations, Dion Lord, and commiserations to Bright, who, who loses one game and is out. Dion Lord books his ticket, the first person, well, not the first person, the third person to be in the final 16 with Crystal Hunter and Artemis Black. And uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.